Hi there, Mikhail is here, and this is the Moon, the only natural satellite of Earth and the fifth largest moon in the solar system. So far, it's the only celestial object visited by humans, and the only one that will be visited this decade by NASA's Artemis II crew. Most likely neither I nor you will get a chance to step onto the surface of our natural satellite in the coming decade. But next week you'll be able to see a rare astronomical event that involves the moon. Carry on watching this video if you want to know how to see the penumbra lunar eclipse on May 5th, 2023. Will be very interesting. First and foremost, why do we call this a penumbral lunar eclipse? So you all probably know that eclipses always involve three celestial objects, the Sun, the Earth, and of course the Moon. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Moon moves into the shadow of Earth so that the sunlight becomes blocked by our planet and doesn't reach the natural satellite. According to Wikipedia, the most reliable source of information, this can happen only on the night of a full moon. A very interesting fact! The full moon of May is also known as flower moon. That's because a lot of flowers tend to bloom during May in the northern hemisphere. Therefore, a reasonable question may arise. Why don't lunar eclipses occur every month? That's because the moon's orbit is tilted in comparison to the Earth's orbit around the sun so the moon often passes below or above the Earth's shadow. However, every six months or so, the orbit of the moon intersects the orbit of the Earth around the sun. That's when the moon is precisely aligned with the Earth and sun in a straight line. As a result, a lunar eclipse occurs. However, there is a specific type of lunar eclipse called a penumbral eclipse, which will occur this May. You already know that in order for an eclipse to occur, the moon must pass through the Earth's shadow, and our planet actually has two main shadows, the umbra and the penumbra. The inner part of the Earth's shadow is called the umbra, and it completely blocks the sun's light. At the same time, the outer part of the Earth's shadow is called the penumbra, and it blocks the sunlight only partially. So, next week the moon will pass through the penumbral part of the Earth's shadow, so that's why this astronomical event called the penumbral lunar eclipse. Alright, so does it mean that the penumbral lunar eclipse will not make the moon turn dark and red and bloody? Yes, a penumbral lunar eclipse may not look as beautiful as a total or a partial one, but it's still worth seeing it because if you're a patient observer, you'll still be able to behold how the moon's disk is getting darker and darker. Also, this is going to be the deepest penumbral eclipse until 2042, because the moon just slightly misses the umbral part of the Earth's shadow. So, how to see this lunar eclipse? Well, it'll start on May 5th at 1513 Coordinated Universal Time. In order to convert the UTC time to your local time, all you need to do is either go to this website or go to timeanddate.com. This website provides a wonderful overview of the lunar eclipse, and here you can simply type your location and see if and at what time the eclipse takes place. And yes, this is the map of the lunar eclipse visibility. If you live in any of these areas, you won't be able to see this eclipse next week. Since a penumbral lunar eclipse is harder to see compared to a regular lunar eclipse, I'd recommend you start observing this event closer to the maximum phase of the eclipse. Uh, the moon that is covered by the Earth's penumbra looks a little bit darker and more brownish compared to the regular full moon. Also, you should observe our natural satellite in an area with clear skies and little industrial pollution. Even if the sky is perfectly clear, it may take you a few moments until you notice the eclipse at all. Some of you may possess telescopes, which of course will make it easier for you to behold this astronomical event. The maximum phase of the eclipse will take place at 1722 
coordinated universal time on May 5th. And then it will end at 1931 coordinated universal time of the same day. Once again, just use this amazing website and it'll be the simplest option for you. After the penumbra lunar eclipse ends, the next lunar eclipse will take place in October 2023. October 2023 also has another interesting astronomical event, the annular solar eclipse that will be visible in most parts of the Americas. In any case, these are the things that will be covered in the coming videos. For now, all you need to do is to get ready for the incoming penumbra lunar eclipse and of course subscribe to this channel. In any case, thank you for watching very interesting videos, bye.